Hi guys, Matt from Book My Boat here, Australia's leading online boat hire marketplace. Today I'm down at Sneaky Fisho, which is at Brookvale on the northern beaches of Sydney, and I'm gonna to talk to Paul about some tips on maintaining our fishing rods and reels. And Paul's also gonna give us some recommendations for lures that are, that, are, that are flying out the door at the moment. Hi Paul, how are you? How you doing mate? Thanks for joining you. us. No problem. All right, Paul, so there's nothing worse than fishing and your, and your reel's a bit grindy and things aren't, things aren't working and, and you, you drop that fish, the one that got away. Can you, can you help us and provide some tips on how we should be maintaining our fishing reels? The maintenance of the reels is pretty simple, so it is. You got a few key features in a reel that's supposed to work properly. One is your bail arm, back and forward. One very important feature is the bail roller bearing. If it seizes up, it can cause friction. Mm -hmm. It can also break your line. So these are two of the things. The other thing is the handle. If you want to replace the handle, take the handle off, wash it, put it back on again. Before you do any maintenance on your reel, which is very low maintenance, if there's major maintenance to be done on the reel, you usually send it to the manufacturer. Okay. So you do. So we, low should, maintenance. We, should, so we should never open the reel up? No, I would never open up a reel. Okay. Not unless you're very, very confident and able to do so. Most of the time, if you've finished fishing, first thing you do is tighten down your drag. Mm -hmm. You can sponge the reel down with soapy water. Okay. The soap, if you just let it sit, the soap will dry as a scum, mm -hmm. which will actually protect your reel. So okay. okay, so we're letting... We're, we're just letting soapy water actually dry out on the reel. So we're not hosing the soap off? No, not hosing the soap off. You can wipe the hose off. Yep. Or ho wipe the soap off. Yep. But there's one thing you can do is use a product that we use, it's called Inox, Inox Spray. Uh, the lubricant spray. Which is a lanolin spray. Mm -hmm. It's made from sheep's wool and it is not a penetrating spray. Most yes. oils like WD-40 are penetrating. They're designed to break down rust, grease, oil. The worst thing you can ever put on your reef. So that'll deteriorate your line? Is that that right? will, no, not deteriorate your line. It will break the grease, the grease and the oil down in your reel, uh, okay. which means the reel will not run as true as it should. Okay, great, great. Okay, now what about attaching those our reels to the to our rods? Is there any is there any challenge or anything we can do there to help us? To there make is sure the stays? reel, the actual screw that screws the reel onto the rod. Mm -hmm. It will pack up with salt and salt water. Mm -hmm. One of the things is a good thing to do regular is to unscrew it, take your reel off, wash it, and put it back on again. Okay. It stops the build up because if it seizes, it's plastic with salt in it, it will actually turn on lock. Yes. And you have no tr you have no chance of getting Not it off. Not gonna get it off. Okay. Okay, excellent. All right. Now on the walls behind us there's thousands of lures. There's lures everywhere. Do you have some of your or, or can you share with us some of your top selling lures and uh, and what we should expect to catch on those lures and, and sort of are we talking deep sea fishing, are we talking estuaries? A lot of the fishing done around here and the targets around here would be kingfish. Kingfish there inside Sydney Harbour. If I was to go fishing, the same as many other people, they would use a lure like this for trolling. It's a Rapala diving lure. It'll actually dive from 11 to 9 feet. So the lure will dive down and sit swimming at 11 feet. Okay. It's particularly good for kingfish, your bonito, your salmon, your tailor. Mm -hmm. So it will only dive to 11 feet, it won't it'll, keep diving? No, it'll not keep so diving, it it'll come down. It's a fantastic lure for trolling. You're gonna troll about four to six knots in speed mm -hmm. and just let it troll behind the boat. Okay, and the kingfish can't refuse, yeah? Kingfish will hit it, no problem, but you'll, all of the rest of the pelagic species will hit them as well. Okay, great, great. So, failing that there, if you wanted to cast, you would use a lure something similar to that, which is actually casting and retrieving. Okay. which has a slash action in the water, like a bait fish trying to escape. Yes. So that again, kingfish. So that's a rapala as well? That's another rapala. Kingfish, bonito, tailor, salmon, any of the above. Okay, great. We'll hit it. Just looks like a pilchard, doesn't it? It just, you can get them in various colors. Some colors stand out more than others. And as I say, with redhead, it's a standout among all fishermen. Okay. With your pelagics, just a uh, tailor, salmon, bonito, there's nothing simpler than a Halco spinner. Yep. Just a light Halco spinner. It can be used on a light rod mm -hmm. or a heavier rod. Just cast out and retrieve, cast out and retrieve. And that's just the flicker of the metal, and is that just right? Just the flicker of the metal as a small bait fish is trying to escape. Okay, fantastic. So I'll be fishing your sort of kingfish and your pelagics. 
When you get down, there's a lot of fishing done in around Narrabeen Lake and some of the shallower bay around Sydney. Mm -hmm. Whereas a lot of people would use what they call uh, a sugar pen. Okay. A sugar pen. A sugar pen is a surface walker, and it will imitate a shrimp trying to escape. Skipping across the surface. Skipping across the, not skipping across the surface as much as weaving back and forward across the surface. Okay. It's very attractive to a uh, whiting, bream, flathead, and over the season, over the Christmas period, there the young boys out of school have been casting these and catching kingfish on them. Catching kingfish on the kingfish on. There is different sizes. You have small ones, but in the larger ones, people have been getting kingfish on them. Wow. Oh, yeah. Inside the harbour. Okay, so a good multi-purpose. A good multi-purpose. So failing that, you have a small lure called a double clutch, which is that there. Okay. It's a small diving lure. Now you'd use that in round on shallow, uh, sandy areas because the bib will pull it down and it will scrape through the sand. Yeah, okay. So you can pick up bream with it, flathead with it. Yeah. Lots of species. Stirring People use those. it for estuary perch. Mm -hmm. People use large flathead at night. Mm -hmm. So stirring up those bottom, those yes, fish on the bottom. Yes, a lovely little lure to use. Okay, fantastic. All right, Paul, thank you very much for that. If you've got any questions for Paul, Put it in the comments below this post and Paul will, uh, Paul will try and answer all of your questions. If you want the very best of expert advice, I can't recommend highly enough, come down and see Paul on the team at Sneaky Fish Show at Brookvale. They'll be able to give you all the advice on your, on your rods, your reels, your gear, some fishing locations if you're on the northern beaches of Sydney. Now alternatively, if you want to get the best deals, sneakyfishshow.com is the website you go to. They have daily discounts, daily deals. You can subscribe, you'll get your daily emails. Paul also does a fishing report every Thursday, so you'll get the, ve the very latest in information, but you'll also have the, the, the best deals that are available. Sneaky Fisho ship internationally, so if you're not based in Sydney, don't worry, jump, on, jump online, they can post you something and you'll have it in a couple of days. Okay, in this day and age, if you're not making money on your boat, there's an opportunity missed. Give us a call or jump online at bookmyboat.com.au and learn how your boat can make money on its idle days. Alternatively, if you want to catch your next fish from a boat, jump online and check us out. We've got boats nationally to suit all your needs. Hey guys, please like and share this post so your friends can learn about their rod and reel maintenance, as well as all the deals that are going on sneakyfisho.com.au. Until next time, safe boating.